moving on. I earlier today was checking out some videos that I watched previously, but I do want to recommend and really endorse. Uh, there is a channel out there, Air Velocity Sport. Um, now, this is going back a few years. About four years ago, he did uh, a few conversions of 2240s to HPA systems and uh, really good videos. Uh, he went a different route as far as, you know, he didn't buy a kit, but uh, goes into great detail about what he did and how he did it. And uh, just kind of comparing some of the numbers he was getting from his guns, I believe there are three that I know of that he converted from uh, 2240s. He converted from CO2 to HPA systems uh, with various power output levels. But uh, checking my numbers against his, again, I am completely satisfied with what I'm getting. But getting on to the shooting, what I thought I would do for this particular video, I really am focused on foot-pounds of energy. Uh, of course, I have to record uh, velocities in order to figure that out, but instead of using pellets that are more towards the lower weight spectrum, I wanted to go and shoot some heavier pellets. So getting back to the, the two types that I have, the heavier, the, the heaviest ones that I have, are uh, the JSB Jumbo Heavies. These are 18.13 grain. And Barracuda Hunter Extremes. These are 19.09 grain. Um, in one of the videos I was checking out from Air Velocity Sport, he was shooting some Yoon Jin um, 22 caliber pellets and uh, those things I believe he said they were 25 and a half grain so I don't have anything in that category but when he was posting up the uh, power numbers he was getting uh, you know he, he's capable of, of producing 30 foot pounds of energy plus shooting those really heavy pellets so, as I showed in the previous video, I was just a, a hair under 21 foot-pounds of energy with the Crossman Premiers. So, let's see what I can get with the JSB and the H&N uh, Barracuda Hunter Extremes. And uh, really am more interested in power numbers. Uh, of course, I've got to get the velocity numbers to figure out the power numbers, but see what the KTHBA can produce as far as using what I have are heavier pellets and uh, the power output that it can get from them, okay? Let's get to shooting. One other thing I wanted to mention before the shooting, uh, obviously I'm confident enough in the ability uh, of the KTHBA to maintain holding the air pressure that I went ahead and reinstalled the dot sight back on it and the sling clip that I had purchased for it. So, feeling confident, hoping it holds up. Let's get to shooting.
Okay, to crunch some numbers uh, on the shots I was able to take, but some very interesting results. Unfortunately, when I started off, I had it topped off at 15 MPA once again. Once again, the first three shots I took, I couldn't get anything but error readings. But I kept with it. I didn't top it off. Uh, it had gone down to 13 MPA at that point, and I was attempting to shoot the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. So, with that said, the first reading I got with the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, uh, again, had dropped down after three error readings to 13 MPA was 751 feet per second. Now, when I crunch that power number, into foot-pounds of energy, that's 23.91 foot-pounds of energy. After getting that reading, and I had adjusted some of the lighting on the chronograph, uh, I went ahead and topped it back off up to 15 MPA. That got me the reading of 779 feet per second. Now, with the 19.09 grain pellet, that comes out to 25.73 foot-pounds of energy. So I'm pushing well over 25 foot-pounds of energy. That's something I'm extremely happy with. So taking that one shot at a full fill with the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, I didn't top off. I went straight to the JSB pellets. Now, remember, that's an 18.13 grain pellet. Uh, the first shot I took with that was 755 feet per second. That comes out to 22.95 foot-pounds of energy. Let's round that off to 23 foot-pounds of energy. Now, I didn't think it was going to be that low of a velocity. But I'm going to get to that in a second. I just want to go ahead. The next shot I took with the same pellet, the JSB 18.13 grain. Was 779 feet per second. That comes out to 24.44 foot pounds of energy. You might be asking, Steve, why would you have a higher topped off tank? and get 755 feet per second. And then minus the air it took to get that shot off, you would get 779 feet per second on the next shot with the JSB pellets. Well, there was something I noticed. Number one, going back to the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, when you look at the make of the pellet, the skirt is a very hollowed out skirt which means there's a, a ton of weight of that 19.09 grain is in the head of the pellet. I had an extremely hard time loading those. As a matter of fact, it was impossible for me to load them with just using the bolt probe. Now, again, I don't have an extended probe that the extended probe broke off of this particular bolt that I have on the KTHPA at the moment. But any attempt at pushing the pellet forward, because of the fairly large noun that I'm using, the cupped washer, uh, along with the front breech screw, they are sitting well below the pellet tray area. So any attempt to push that pellet forward with the uh, bolt just had the head drop straight down. So the only way I was able to load a pellet was with an Allen wrench, using the smaller end of the Allen wrench and hooking it into the uh, back end of the skirt and lifting and pushing it into the uh, the breach. 
Now that got the pellet to seat much farther forward in the breech than if I was just using the bolt. For those particular pellets, I couldn't use the bolt. Now what I noticed with the JSB, there is much more lead accumulated inside the skirt of those particular pellets. So the weight of that pellet is much more evenly distributed between the head and the skirt. Those pellets were not difficult to load just using the bolt. So that first shot that I took with the JSB, which came out at 755 feet per second, I had only pushed the pellet forward and it was only seated as far forward as the bolt would push it forward. The second shot that I took, I decided to try using the Allen wrench and hooking the back end of the skirt and pushing the pellet in and getting it seated further in than the probe alone would get it pushed in. It was farther forward using the Allen wrench. And that's when I got the 779 feet per second. It jumped 24 feet per second using a lower charge of air, simply based on the seating of the pellet. So there is something to, in my opinion, to definitely be said about uh, using an extended bolt probe and getting that pellet seated in front, obviously getting it fully seated in front of the barrel port. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, numbers I'm extremely pleased with. Uh, you know, hitting approximately 780 feet per second with both the Barracuda Hunter Extremes and the JSB. Um, and able to get well over 25 foot pounds of energy from the Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Uh, approximately 24 and a half foot pounds of energy from the JSBs. That's going to be some serious smacking power. So, uh, again, that would be something I'm definitely going to keep in mind when I take this gun out hunting. The next step for me with this particular gun is now uh, that the, the dot sight is back on it. I've got to get that sighted in and get it, I'm interested in, in seeing how difficult it is to get it sighted in, uh, or not difficult, with the longer barrel on here. So that's the next step. That'll probably be as far as getting the dot sight sighted in on the KTHPA and checking the accuracy, which I have not done up to this point with the 24 inch barrel all I've done is is concentrate on getting uh, velocity and power numbers from it. So, guys, very interesting, I thought. So, uh, big shout out to everyone out there that has checked out the videos and has helped me in my work on the KTHPA as far as suggestions Photos, pellets, everything. Uh, and just a big thank you just for checking out the videos. I know there are those of you that have helped me tremendously. Hopefully, some way I am helping some of you uh, with these videos. And thanks for checking it out. So, until the next one, stay safe and shoot safe.